Hey there, UPSL fans. My name is Bradford Evans, and we have another edition of This Week in the UPSL, where we're going to go from coast to coast. We have stuff on the East Coast, in the middle of America, and also on the West Coast. Uh, West Coast really just starting out that spring season, whereas on the East Coast, things are well underway. Nevertheless, here we go. How about for the start, we go to the Southeast Conference for a matchup between FC Matata and Atletico Atlanta. Atletico Atlanta struggling a little bit in the Black Kits and FC Matata having a pretty good season so far. Here comes the first opportunity for Atletico Atlanta. Look at the pace of the forward tripping, but uh, no penalty given, or does the referee say there is one? Yes, there is a penalty. So, here we go. First penalty converted, slammed home by Derek Boateng. Gets a high five from a couple of his teammates and walks down the field in celebration. Anyway, next chance from the right side, number two. Look at the pace, look at the cross, look at the finish. Mohamed Lamin Jerewu with the finish. You see again here on the right, another opportunity. And... Man, just look at how fast the uh, pace was and a good save there. Anyway, through ball coming. And FC Matata uh, curling finish a little bit too easy for the keeper to deal with. Then a layoff opportunity for FC Matata. Through ball on the right. And a nice finish to go with it. Kamis Jaden scored for FC Matata. That was his first of many today. Long ball over the top, saved by the keeper once, then chipped over, too high. Next chance on the left for FC Matata. What a finish there from Kamis Jaden. Uh, could that be in our top goals of the week? Anyway, another chance coming from FC Matata when it's 2-2 two to two now. Drives it in and off the post. Next chance again for FC Matata. So the early chances went to Atletico Atlanta and now FC Matata scissoring around, moving, and to the right, finished beautifully. Kamis Jaden, what a player. Three goals for FC Matata. Got to celebrate that. And then there's a clearance. I don't think this was really intended for the forward, but he runs onto it. And uh, FC Matata's forward trying to get in. Keeper staying up and doing a good job of blocking that one. Anyway, the final score, 3-2. to two. Atletico Atlanta struggling here. The former national champions find themselves at fifth place. And FC Matata currently in second, having a good season so far with 10 points. Now, moving on up to the northeast of the United States. Jogging out there, and you see Olympiacos wearing the red kits and Lynchburg wearing the whites as we get things started. So, first potential opportunity coming up off of a free kick. A cross up high. Crossed over, and the keeper got a good piece on that and saved a goal. A nice opportunity from Olympiacos. So, Lynchburg FC. Balls to the right now. And carrying it forward is the right back. Then he hits it long to the corner flag. It's finished. Good goal there from Tudor Barna of Lynchburg FC. Next chance comes for Olympiacos from the left. Dribbling in, takes a big touch, crosses it, and skied high. Next chance comes in the second half for Lynchburg. They're up 1-0 at this point. Ball played from the wing. And then in the 18, nice little 1-2. And uh, just right at the keeper's mitts. Another chance for Lynchburg FC off the throw, and this would make Liverpool proud. 
And a nice tap and almost looked like a set piece there. Good goal. Here comes opportunity for another goal from Lynchburg FC. It's been all Lynchburg so far as the ball is played to the right and then finished on the right of the goalkeeper. Nice job there on the finish. The final score in this one, Lynchburg FC 3, Olympiacos nil. And now we move to the Beltway standings for the Premier Division. Sure Sports FC, nine points. Lynchburg FC have one loss and two wins. They're with six points. And Olympiacos sit with only one point so far among three games. Not the start you want for the spring season, that is for sure. Now time for an inside look at our feature club of the week, EFA Metro. We have Rob Cruck, the head coach, and Jonathan Romero, a player for EFA Metro. So EFA Metro um, is a spinoff from, so Jake Gowombeck and Conrad Pleva um, started the um, EFA training, which was individual, individual private training or group training for individuals to supplement to their like club. Um, so they decided that there was a gap between, you know, once players graduated either, you know, high school uh, or when they're still in college, that there's a time period where, you know, these kids are not getting uh, high level professional training. Uh, so we decided to kind of give back to, um, I mean, they decided to give back to, to the to the whole, you know, community here where, you know, we give kids an opportunity to play at a, at a higher level and provide training for them so they could succeed in the future. La verdad que el equipo se ve sólido. Creo que somos uno de los equipos que casi no hemos entrenado todo el plantel junto y, y eso los ha afectado bastante, pero sé que cuando estemos todos vamos a hacer un un equipo muy competitivo y vamos a luchar por todo. Queremos salir campeones. Nuestro primer objetivo es eso. Now, you know, this is our second season. We, we, we're kind of investing into young players. So we're trying to give an opportunity for, you know, young players to, to get to either the men's game or, you know, kind of brush up on their skills to, to be able to play at that higher level. We are, you know, we do train a lot. Uh, we have a good facility in Elmwood Park that, that provides us an opportunity to work on the technical ability, do weightlifting, and then we train twice a week and, and play games on the weekend. Moving out to the West Coast now here in California, for the fall season, one of the first few games in the season for the spring. Alta California Soul against LA 10 FC. Alta California in the blue kits and the striped black and white kits, LA FC. As we are now underway for this highlight, and we'll see exactly what happens. First opportunity comes off of a throw in, it's chested, then back to the man who threw it in and curved and curled just wide. Next opportunity for Alta California. Keeper comes out, misjudges it, and a nice finish there from Celso Lagunas. And he is celebrating with his teammates there after a nice goal. Next chance comes for LA 10 FC on the right, cutting back and then to the top of the 18 yard box, a sliding save, and it almost goes into the back of the net. Thankfully, the keeper was aware. Then a chance on the right. And a good through ball, one touch. Played on the cross, top of the 18-yard box. Smacked just to the left. But a nice attempt. And then here comes a nice little counterattack. And you're going to see the keeper come out and make a big save here. He didn't time that one wrong. Beautiful, got all ball. Man tripped over him and saved his team there. Counterattack coming from number 17. 17 against 17, actually. The right back trying to get that one away and does a good job 
with defending that one. I'd love that if I was the goalkeeper. And that's it here. One to nothing. Alta California Soul beat LA 10 FC. Now time for game number two, San Diego Internacional against San Diego White Tigers FC. Anyway, first opportunity comes for Internacional on the right. Some good pace from the winger and a good cross. One shot, two shots, three shots finally in for Kian Meyer. Good effort by the goalkeeper though. Then another chance for San Diego Internacional. Header looping just to the left-hand side and wide. Then uh, first chance comes for the White Tigers off of a turnover. And shot hits the hands of the keeper. He deflects it away. Stays 1-0 for the time being. San Diego White Tigers, beautiful through ball and a good touch. And wide and uh, even better clearance by the defender, saving a potential goal. Then White Tigers come right back, still trailing. First shot, no. Second shot, no. Good job by the defender. Corner kick coming up for White Tigers. Too long to the left-hand side. A poor clearance goes right to the goal scorer. What a goal there from Kareem Barrett. Sensational move there. And it's 1-1 at this point. Internacional FC, a poor, poor decision by the center back. Leads to a goal. I would hate that if I was the coach for Internacional. Sergio Gonzalez gets the second goal. Then uh, it's 2-1 at this point off of two mistakes. And the ball is played on the left. And uh, tripping in the box leads to a penalty kick. This one, Sergio Gonzalez gets blocked first time, and it's cleared. Good job by the goalkeeper. And then a header to the right, and that one's in. Can't stop that one. 3-1, White Tigers lead. Then free kick. Keeper saves it to the right-hand side. Good job there, and White Tigers... Really getting all the opportunities here late. As you see this one played to the left-hand side. Nice little ball opens up the counterattack and then a tap in. A nice goal making it 4-1 to one for the White Tigers. And that's how this one finishes. 4-1 to one in favor of San Diego White Tigers. Now time to take a look at the SoCal North Premier Division standings. Bunch of teams with six points. Warriors FC, Santa Ana wins, and Cal Football Club all have six. And then you just go down the line and see some of these other teams. We saw Alta California Soul. They have three points. And, uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good here early with two games played by most teams. So we were on the West Coast, now we're going back to the East Coast. Juventus Academy FC against Miami Beach Club Football. Hit to the left and then deflected away. Then a free kick coming from Miami Beach, drawn in, punched away. Then a trip inside the box. This is gonna lead to a penalty. First penalty kick coming for Miami Beach, and he misses. And Juventus get their first chance. Free kick drifting in, a header into the back of the net. Good set piece there. Nice goal from Adli Hassan. Opportunity again driven just wide. Then even more and more opportunities off of a free kick. And uh, handball gonna lead to an opportunity here for Miami Beach. Stepping up here to take it, Matias Perrain, who you're going to see. This is a heck of a penalty. Next chance, too high by Miami Beach, now that it's tied up. And then there's a ball that deflects off of the defender. And then another set piece that seems to be the theme of this highlight. Look at that one, low and hard. Fantastic goal by Thomas Casavilla. 
then there's a curve. What a save by the keeper, though. Going top shelf and saving that one, then makes another beautiful save as well. A Juventus keeper keeping them in this game. And that one getting deflected high. These highlights are going by real quick, though. Then that is scored from uh, half field, so a sensational goal there. Big hug for the Juventus player, Marco Viviano. Then a shot to the keeper's hands. And then this one sailed into the box. And a great goal there with the head. And uh, dog pile ensues. Miami Beach win this one 3-2. to two. Juventus has been having a rough go of things, but uh, Miami Beach, on the other hand. And after that fantastic game, we have an interview with Marco Viviano of Juventus and Tomas Casavilla. Orgulloso del grupo. Este gol al final no da la fuerza para mejorar más y trabajamos duro el martes. Si buscamos el gol el último segundo, eso hay que aprender, hay que maturar. Nosotros estamos mejorando cada día, siempre más. Y estoy muy orgulloso de los jóvenes también que está entrando siempre más eh, adentro del grupo. Hay que seguir trabajando así. Fue un partido parejo, capaz no pudimos jugar como, como quisimos. Presionamos mucho, corrimos mucho, hubo mucha entrega del equipo. Por momentos no salió lo que practicamos en la semana, pero lo más importante es ganar de esta manera. It's time for this week in the UPSL's top goals all around the UPSL. It's presented by SCORE, and this week we have 10 goals that we're going to go over. Sometimes it's 7, sometimes it's 5, but here we go. Ramses Chavez from Stockton FC threw ball in around the keeper, dancing forward, and a nice goal there, but an even better pass, I would say. Goal number 9 now. It's Brandon Ocampo Toro from FSA Pro. They were playing the Hudson Valley Hammers. You're going to see you see a nice link up play from the left, a 1 2, and open in space. Beating the defender here is Brandon Ocampo Toro. Actually, he gets the tap in off the nice job from the wing. Good goal. Number eight. Alec McCready from Boise Cutthroats FC. Ball played short to the right. Dribbling inside is the winger. Dancing to the right now. And a looping hit. Keeper can't get anything on it. What a goal there from McCready. Goal number seven now. Eddie Robinson for Club Athletic. They were playing Atlanta Elephants FC. And that crosses the box over to the right. Hitting it. And a beautiful technique, beautiful curve there. Eddie Robinson celebrates. Number six now. We're getting close to number one, but Augusto Del Rio for Patros FC. Gets a chip. And then, oh my gosh, what a goal to the right side of the net. And that dance is as good as the goal, too. Number five. Getting close to the end here, Camis Jaden for FC Matata. We saw this goal earlier in the highlights. You're going to see on the left, scissoring and then just curving it into the back of the net. Beautiful power and technique on that goal. His team loves it. Number four, Thomas Sierra for New York Contour United. They were playing Real New York FC. And there's a goal there. Number three. Luis Martin for Cal Victory FC off the free kick. You gotta love those set piece goals. You see the replay here, and uh, no way the keeper was gonna save that one. Number two now, Jorge Umana from Westchester United. Another set piece goal, and another beautiful finish. Look at the replay here. Just drops it over the goalkeeper. Nice goal. And for our number one goal of the week, Marco Viviano from half field. What a goal here. And, uh, yeah, saw that one a little bit easier, but got to love the replay of it. 
Marco Viviano in a loss to Miami Beach Club football. Still a wonderful goal there from half field. That was our top 10 goals of the week here on This Week in the UPSL. Well, fans, we are done with another week of This Week in the UPSL. We have a bunch of games this weekend. You can watch them on MyKuju TV and follow us on all social media platforms, including Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm.